You did. You crazy son of a bitch, you did. Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host, Aaron. And for today's video, we're headed to the world of Last Epoch with pre-patch hype week day three revisited. Now, if you didn't catch yesterday, 11th Hour Games, the studio behind Last Epoch, dropped their post about their beta version of the cosmetics shop. And in that post, it talked about the pricing structure and the new packs coming and the quality of the items. And unfortunately, the comments on the post, Discord, Reddit, forums just exploded with negativity. I was go as I would go as far to saying 90% of all feedback was negative on this post. Now, I've been on YouTube for almost four years. I've worked with many large studios, and I would say I've worked with over 50 smaller studios directly. And if you ask me, Aaron, which one is your favorite, which one rises to the top, which one is in a league of their own, I would say EHG. And of course, that's only my opinion. But this is a studio I know. It's someone that I've worked with. I know their morals. I know their values. I know what they are trying to create and their communication and what they do with community feedback is second to none. They literally created an entirely new genre defining trading faction system because of our feedback. Needless to say, because of yesterday's post, Judd, the actual game director, personally just dropped this news post. And at time of recording, this is literally 22 minutes ago, okay? So we're gonna see, this is response to the MTX store. We're gonna read for a second. Travelers, as you are likely already aware, yesterday's announcement has given us a chance to earn our reputation as the community-driven ARPG. In the studio that listens, we've spent the last 24 hours reading your feedback, discussing it internally, and deciding what to do next. I want to thank our community for challenging us to be better. We're here today to say we hear you and we want to answer that challenge. We are making three immediate changes. We will be removing the offset conversion rate between EP and USD, replacing it instead with one US dollar equals 10 EP epoch points ratio. We're making the price reductions across the board. As an example, the $20 portal from yesterday, which was actually a $14 portal, is now a $10 portal. And I actually really love the way that this is worded because at the time that I recorded my video yesterday, it was a $20 portal but I guess it was priced incorrectly in the post, so then they updated the post, and now they've dropped the price from even there. We are adjusting the epoch point package pricing to directly line up with the cost of the items in the store and removing the bonus system. This is detailed below. Now, this is where the honesty comes in. And I'm just gonna say right now, a lot of people are gonna claim that EHG is anchoring, okay? Now, if you don't know what anchoring means, that means like we're going to start up here and then we know it's going to be a bad response. So then we're going to bring it down here. Then we're going to get credit for listening to the community and then we're going to sell it at the price we wanted anyways. So it's it's a way of, you know, gaining favor, but still selling it at the price you want. I know, know the devs, no Judd. I've talked to them. I do not. I feel like I would say this if it's like, dude, they're just anchoring. I would say that I do not feel that this this is that type of situation. OK, just putting that out in the ether. There's probably going to be some comments saying that's what they're doing. I don't feel that's the case. How we got here. Admittedly, we ended up leaning too hard into following the establishment and successful models in the industry. The operational cost of EHG as a studio has risen sharply with the increased team size quality of the game, server expenses, etc. And our current price tag of $35 for the game was never designed to be the only source of income to ensure that we're able to continue operating. So when we were evaluating our options, I leaned on advice designed around previous titles, and that was a mistake. Last Epoch fans aren't here because they want something that's already been done. Been done. You are here because you see how much we have to offer the genre. Over time, we hope to bring that same innovation and player focus into the monetization space. Feels pretty honest. New pricing and purchase experience. New pricing and purchase experience. As echoed in our community yesterday, the experience of purchasing currency bundles and then managing leftover funds is not an enjoyable one. So moving forward, we will have a new structure of currency bundles at the following price points. $5 is 50, $10 is 100, and $20 is 200. So as you can see from this new pricing structure, if you, you know, 
you're financially strapped a little bit, or maybe you only want to give them five bucks, you are not going to get less than the person that wants to give 20 bucks or purchase something $20. You can buy them in higher increments, but you're not going to get a deal for spending more money. That's pretty cool. And they put in a little note that the one cent off is because of Steam. It's not on them. If they could make them round numbers, they would. Additionally, items for the sale in the store will always be equally divisible by the 50 EP increments, meaning that you will see an item in the store that you want. You'll be able to purchase exactly enough currency to acquire and buy the item and no more, which is perfect, which is perfect. By the way, just a little anecdotal. My fire necro is going to need a fire tiger looking thing. Please believe this pet is coming. You see the portal here's 100, so now you can just go and purchase 100 directly. So the system, what, so far, literally nothing but positives. Nothing, nothing but positives. Supporter packs. We are now also ready to announce the supporter pack pricing for Rising Flames. And this is something that I covered yesterday. There's going to be four supporter packs. They are now giving us more of the Epoch points, okay? So it was 120. They've boosted it to 150, so they're giving us more. And then it's going to be $20 for the base, $30 for the second tier, $40 for the third, and then $50 for the legendary tier. And, you know, all things considered, when you're talking about the supporter pack pricing, you know, I know a lot of people are going to jump on, dude, the game is $30. They, they, they are 35 bucks. They're asking for more money in half of the cases than the retail cost of the game. Uh, for me personally, I think these prices are very, very fair. Okay, and I'm going to tell you why. Because supporter packs are, as stated, support. Support. When you're watching your favorite streamer and you make the decision to give them a sub or the bits or donate, it's because you are supporting that person and what they are doing. That is how supporter packs are. You're not actually breaking down like mm, these wings. I think those wings are only worth ten dollars and the portals worth five and the pets worth two. You know, so really this should be, you know, a seventeen dollar bundle, not 50. Like that's not how it's supposed to be looked at. You find the build you like, you see the cosmetics and you support the studio. That's my opinion. That's how it should be looked at. Honestly, even if they doubled all these prices, I wouldn't sit here and be mad at them because they're supporter packs and obviously it's optional. Cosmetic price versus value. I'm not going to read this. This is basically just saying that uh, you look at a painting, you might think it looks horrible. Another person looks at a painting and they might think it looks beauti beautiful. It is perspective. It's, it's, it's opinion based. Okay, We're not going to cover that. Why Epoch points at all? In here, what is discussed, and I will link this, it'll be the second link in the description, is that they want to be able to reward people. So whether it's, you know, ladder or challenges or events or whatever it is, being able to reward people with a token is much easier than reward somebody with like an MTX. It also, by rewarding you with a token, you can use that token to grab whatever item you want instead of EHG picking the item. It's also easier for purchasing. It's also easier for refunds. So the reason why Epoch points exist and just not like $5 for the portal is because of those reasons. Basically, that's basically this, this whole paragraph. I guess I'll read this last part. Lastly, and perhaps the most importantly, Epoch points are something that we have offered from the beginning of last Epoch experience. We initially called them cosmetic coins as a placeholder, but there are quite literally millions of them distributed to our players already. We have al always intended to use the secondary currency as a reward system. And again, this just puts it in a place where other options could just not or just could not work. OK, in conclusion, Judd from the from the game creator to sign off. Last Epoch is a passion project being made by fans of ARPG genre and gaming as a whole. When our community tells us in unison that we have made a mistake, we have always worked to correct it. We hope that if you've been a part of the community for long enough that we've shown that to be true. But we know many of you have joined us recently and we look forward to the next 10 years of proving it to you. We sincerely thank you for your passion in what we're creating here at 11th Hour Games and taking our your time to provide us with your feedback. 
We hope and inspire to always rise to the occasion to correct our mistakes when we've planned or introduced something that isn't well received by our fantastic fans. The fans who have taken us from a small after hours group on Kickstarter to a studio we to the to the studio we are becoming appreciate you all Judd. So that is the post. That is the conclusion. The only thing in here that is not really mentioned and I don't even care. I know a lot of like FOMO like, oh, you're going to get FOMO fear of missing out because these bundles are going to be seasonal based. They're going to be cycle based. So if you want the eternal Templar, you better snag it now because it'll be gone forever. I do not mind that. OK, I like the idea of like, oh, dude, I see that person with that skin. He got the season one Templar pack. That's cool. He's been here from the beginning. You know, like I'm I'm OK with that. I know a lot of people hate it. I personally don't care. Now, to conclude my conclusion, let's read some comments. Well done. That is the reputation that we all love and know. I'm not going to read that long one. Very well done. We'll buy more. Thanks, EHG. Damn nice. Kind of tempted to support the game more. I for sure will buy more because of this. I was a harsh critic of the initial MTX reveal, but I have to applaud you for doing the right thing and doing it swiftly. Wow, what a crazy, honest answer. I'll buy the highest supporter pack. Nice, good job, well done. I was a loud opponent of the previous system and I wouldn't have bought anything under such a manipulative system. I'm very open to buying cool things when you're not trying to manipulate me and our wallet. This is an excellent response, very quick. Thank you for doing, thank you for doing and being better. My only concern in MTX still not being available in offline. Thank you for the quick and on point reaction. This is very much how I want MTX shop MTX shop in my game to work. I'll say it. You're the goats for this. That's where I'm going to leave the video. This is great, great news. Uh, I will continue to support 11th hour games. I am starting a brand new series. OK, and you will see this once all, obviously all of this drops. It is going to be last epoch fashion show okay and i'm going to be taking some of my favorite builds and i'm going to be supporting ehg with maybe some dollars and i'm going to showcase and tell you maybe some of the ones that are a little bit of a dud visually and maybe the ones you should open up the wallet for at least you could see it on your favorite builds in game i think it's going to be a fun new series that's all i've got hopefully you were entertained or at least learned something Aaron. Out.